Hey, my name is Ria. Not my real name, but the name I will be using for myself, Yuri. For obvious reasons, I wouldn't be using anyone's real name. That is, I even knew their real name anyway. Still not sure. I'm a 23 year old guy from the UK and I used to work on the DBAP. Now before you grab your back fork and torch, the DBAP isn't all you think it is. It's not a gun, drugs and poor. No, in fact, it's mostly new slags, software sharing, forms, money, solution. It's a lot of things but very few of them are what modern media would have you believe. And plenty of surface. It's only natural there are many jobs often on the DB. I do worked on there for a good few years until I called it quiets. If you are wondering why I stopped, well that story for under there. For now, I'll get started with it must make sense the beginning. I was a college student part time between my mind numbering in journey. Course I worked as everyone fell for fast food outlet McDonald's. This kept my life quite busy but in my downtime I would browse the DBAP. There were a few form I would freak. All of them began pasted around world events that the media would refuse to cover. This trend and stuff interests me getting to see a world the mainstream media didn't want you to see. It was real, you know. Well, I slowly incarnated myself into the community for one such firm I knew kick a few people they post. There we can tell some of them were PIS, some infigates, journeys, somewhere. More colorful characters but the main theme across them all we did. They all tended to find things out for, to spear those table finding. Now, I'll go more into deep about, about the other listers. Maybe in another post, but today I'll be focusing on Matt. At least, I will be calling him Matt. Matt was one of those reflection types who was constantly typing to prove about government corruption you know the type I'm talking about not job but the thing they made us different was that he had proof for his terrorists he had events source and my stories today is about how I ended up become one such source. It was on average Sunday. I didn't work Sunday as it was my off day. I spent it broadcasting away on both the clinic and deep web alike. I was checking out the form I spoke about above and saw I had a BM from Matt. I trust me and he told me a lot about himself that checked out. He was real honest, dude, so when he asked me stuff, I stand to be just as honest, which means to know what town I lived in and apparently there was some things going on in my town. Now, I live in a developed town, as quite a lot is always going on but this news. 
This was not your normal developing town stuff. Apparently, the local council were blackmailing one of the landowner to force them to sell their land for development. The landowner in question was a farmer who owned a sizable piece at the edge of the urban spiral. After reading this, I respond to my with the usual. That's cool. Thanks for your info. But then he replied with, but there's more to this. I don't know what they are using as blackmail, but it has to be big. The farmers makes way too much money off his land to sell the price. They are demanded in target I asked Matt if there was any way he could find out more. That's when he asked yes if you are willing to help. Now I had never actively discover any of this hidden new stuff, only browsing it. That's what made me and Matt such good friend. But him asking me to get involved, it had me at the crossroads. I left my deep web browser without replying road. I knew but I didn't quick know how to reply. I tired to focus on the grades came to our video but I couldn't get the thought out of my head. Could I reveal some hidden news some contest? I looked back into form meeting met peeps default torster tones and replies to Matt What are you asking me to do? I waited with bated trip for the response. Just talk to the guy. Maybe take some pictures. Nothing crazy. Those people tend to be more than happy to tell something about this crap. I looked at the response and pondered what's the dangerous anything I showed no. I replied. Not dangerous, usually for a farmer. He doesn't have a gun license, so you should be fine. Just talk to him. I should maintain that by this point, Matt had told me the farmer's name and address, but I'm opting to leave that information out for all of our safety. As I was concerned, talking made up. On his offer, he sent another message, I'll pay. What's your pay bill? I froze. I had no message. Idea that Matt paid his source. I slowly typed out one of my many pale pale email. You have to have lot in order to move money on the debate. 250 euro now, 250 euro after you give me the choose. You almost fainted after reading that sentence, 500 euro for driving to a farmer's house and talking to him. That was almost too good to be true. I responded with a sharp, fuck yeah, and waited. Refreshing the email accessing with the PayPal account BAM. Dear Ryan, I forget to give myself a fake last name so I'll just leave myself a fake last name so I'll just leave their bit empty. You'll receive 215 euro from 3e99qr6 at gmail.com I checked the PayPal account and sure enough 215 euros sitting there sent 
you do better not run away with my money now i forget i was talking to me no of course i will head down tomorrow evening and talk to him want me to record it or something heart beating i waited his reply no i'll trust your word if i have any doubt i will send another source up to comfort it he had another source in the town why choose me i decide i to save those caution and be thankful for this very well paid i finished the conversation off with talks tomorrow man and went to bed not to sleep there was no way i was sleeping with this creep pressing through my head after college the next day i drove out to the farm you could see the constellation fires setting up in the film close to the suburban i pulled down a drift road and up to the drive of the farmhouse i felt every beam on the way down my car was not made for off-roading by any measure i locked my car and knocked the front door no reply my heart was thudding against my ribs and my mind's racing in attention i knocked again opening to call what hello mr again no last name you there i'm here to talk to you about your land agreement i heard stuff behind the door feeling by the sound of the lock turning Jane still on i saw his face he had the septim look of an old english farmer flat cap and or what to do yeah want to be contested he asked in a deep and guessed phil tone i'm here to talk about uh, i carefully chose my next word as to let him know i was on his side of your agreement and their pieces against you i do like to know more about the situation people helps i can help you maybe contested wavered near the end of my speech he didn't look strange but this craft was more than terrible his look softened and he opened the door gestured that i enter i was wondering when some chartlist might take an interest well i until you it's up and shot nothing more to it than the obvious i say myself in his routine living room i am pretty sure the finisher was older than him and they're saying something i'm not journalist sure okay or at least i don't think i'm not a conversation sort anyway despoting my worked nerves i made it to keep my face of confidence his interest seems to pick at my word ha huh. t he asked his clean look seems to fade perhaps it was mine for unwanted guest and my word shaked it him in my favor yes please milk no sugar i'll hold off on questioning until we are both comfortable as he pasted himself with the tea i said there wondering what the fuck was doing 
he placed the cup before me, and the delicate china seeming ready to break before notice. I decided that maybe I wasn't thirsty. The cup looked pretty expensive, so why are you interested, my boy? I looked over the egg deck coffee table, meeting his grace. I have heard that your situation he came about because of some information. Began used against you. His face looked like that of a scared child, that of shock and fear. Yeah, yes, that's been true. How, how did you come about that information? I felt it. Wonder how I should reply. A friend of mine has taken interest into your case. He wished to know more so he can help your situation. The old farmer looked down into his tea and for a second if I say anything it's now goes to know cups are ready. My heart seems to stop for a moment. What could this old man have done to stop that foreign such situation and subside that the police couldn't know? My expression must have been turgid. My thought because after shooting a plans at me, he suddenly and began explaining. My wife was a lovely lady, never heard a fly. She wouldn't but a couple months ago some drinkers that they come from the city you see. They broke into the farmhouse, we but sat up and looked at one another. She shocked her head as if to tell me to stay quiet. She opened the gun safe beneath our bed and get our shotgun. I speak it, but I'm told you don't have a gun license. His face redent slightly. No, not me lad, but me wife does. She does most this work those days. Well, she got it out and opened the door. I do don't know what happened, but I heard shots and the old man started crying head in head. I was at a loss. What can you say to that? Some kids broke in some his wife shot them. Sir, what's happened after? He wiped his eyes and looked back at me with a sniffle. We hide them, burned him, cops tracked it here and next thing was we know some consul said in here telling us to sell or we do go down for murder. He slightly heavily and said his hand in his hands, waiting a respond. But why not go public? Then fight it. Your property, I'm sure it's safe. Defense, he met my eyes with a piking look. Those boys were the major son. If I go public, go down. If I don't sell, my heart was practical. In my throat, cocking back tears, I stoned up. Thanks you for your time. I will see, see what I can do. He stoned with me, his face pained with a pained smile. I will see ya out late. As I walked to the door, I saw his wife standing in the entrance way, shotgun over her hair. She was not as old as the man, but by not many youngs. She moved aside, glaring at me. 
Holding the sound, the door was open. I practically ran to my car, fumbling to get the keys into the injection and get home. I sat at my laptop, still trampling from my precious encounter. I was typing up my report to me, still practically shitting myself. I'm sure. That if I had said the wrong thing, I do have died in that farmhouse. He replied to my message quickly, considering its length. That some Saurian people will love it. I will see what I can do for the poor couple and for you. Danger constarted. I have dropped you and the rest of the money and a late extra i'm sorry i had no idea that the wife had a gun i checked my paper 600 euro had been added to my account there was no way this was all real this had to be a joke right but the aggregate amount was 215 euro right I typed out repeatedly. Turned out the story is better than I expect. I will be in touch, Ryan. I left our message at dead for the time. I had just earned 800 euro for talking to an old man in the middle of a field about the murder and what the fuck. Well, that's the first job I ever had on a DB app and what started this whole fucking mess. I do explain more but it's late and I need some sleep. Let's just say that isn't the last I heard from yet. And controlling not the last job I took on a DB app. I'll be focusing on Matt and his jobs for now. There are most of what I have to tell, but maybe I'll tell about some of the other's jobs I took from other peoples along the way. For now, night guys. Time for another night of no sleep.